Hey guys, Coach D here again. Today we're going to start working on live ball moves. Um, we'll have a few, in a few videos in this series, but today we're going to work on just getting a catch, triple threat, and shooting off of that. It's going to be a longer video because we've got a lot to cover. Um, first of all, a live ball. What is a live ball move? Um, a live ball is when you get a catch and you have your dribble available, you can shoot it or you can pass it. That's a live ball. A live dribble is when you're actively dribbling the ball. So this would be a live dribble situation. And a dead ball is when you pick up the ball. Once you pick up your dribble, you can't dribble again. So the defense is going to get all over you and pressure you. That's a dead ball. So a live ball is when you're the biggest threat because you have all of the options open to you. Okay. Um, the reason we do this, guys, is because Learning to be in triple threat and learning to get a catch effectively is the foundation of being a good offensive basketball player. It's the foundation for being able to score and able to help your team be successful. Okay, We're going to work on getting a catch because it makes you quicker. All right, If you get your work done early, then you don't have to do as many things once the ball touches your hands and you can be more prepared to make a move. All right, so that automatically makes you quicker by getting your work done early. And lastly, it's going to train us to be physically and mentally ready to make a play. All right, how it works, guys. We're going to start on the wings, just like we did with our uh, finishing moves. And um, we're just going to get ready. We're going to call for the ball and we're going to get a catch. Then we'll reset it and do it again. All right. And once we reset, we'll switch to the, we'll do three reps here. We'll switch to the other side of the floor and do three reps on the other side. All right, pretty simple. Guys, the points of precision for getting a catch in triple threat, there are seven of them, lucky number seven. First thing we need to do is get into athletic position. All right, so point of precision number one, athletic position. That means feet about shoulder width apart, knees bent, hips and butt down, chest and shoulders, chest and head up. Okay, athletic position. Point of precision number two is that we want to have greedy eyes and greedy hands. We want to let our teammate know that we're ready to catch the ball and make a play. So our eyes are on him and our hands are up giving him a target. Call for the ball one time. You can either say ball or call your teammate's name. Taylor, but just say it once. Nothing worse than saying a name over and over and over. Okay, so that's number two. Number three is we want to be an airborne receiver. All right, so when the ball's in the air, our feet are in the air. I get, I'm ready, Taylor, ball's in the air, my feet are in the air, I catch one, two, all right? We're always going to be an airborne receiver into that one, two position, all right? I believe this should be the foundation of your game, all right? This one, two catch. I'm a right-handed shooter, so I'm stepping in left, right, so I have momentum going to the basket with my shot. If I'm a left-handed player, I want to step right left every time. Right left. There are times when you need to make a play off a two-foot jump stop. If you're fading away getting the catch, sometimes it's easier to land in a two-foot jump stop. When you're coming to the ball, there are times when you need to be able to pivot right left. Okay? But again, the foundation of your game should be that one-two up into your shot. So that's what we're going to work on as far as triple threat goes and getting a catch. Okay, so point precision number three is be an airborne receiver. Number four, sit into your catch. Ball. Airborne receiver, I sit. When I catch the ball, I'm actually getting a little bit lower. Sit down into your catch, makes you more explosive, make you ready to make a play. Number five is going to be your eyes go to the rim. So as I catch the ball, ball, sit into your catch, eyes go to the rim. All right, lets you see all of your teammates, lets you see the defense, lets you see what's available. See if you're open, see if you can shoot, see if you got a drive, a pass, whatever it may be. Okay, that's number five. Number six is on my catch. I sit three points of contact with the ball. All right, that means I want one hand is one point, my second hand is a second point of contact, and my body is a third point of contact. It could be right here in my shooting pocket, could be down here in my hip. This hip, this hip, it's called your power box, All right? Be strong with the ball by keeping it tight to your body. That's number six. Point of precision number seven, you have one second to make a decision, all right? 
For younger players, that's a little bit extreme. It might be more like two or three seconds. But if you're sitting here with the ball and you're not sure what to do, find an open teammate. Move the ball. All right, you get one second to think, all right, my first job is to score, to be a threat to score. You want to explore your opportunities, but you only get one second, maybe two, maybe three. Certainly not four or five. I mean, we're certainly not back dribbling to come at a player and go one-on-one. -on -one. When one guy is going one-on-one -on -one doing that, all the other four guys are standing, and everyone's a bad basketball player when you're standing still. All right? So uh, those are the points of precision, guys. Um, let's go over real quick. Taylor will be uh, my passer. And so to start this, I'm just going to do three reps and move to the other side of the floor. Ball. One, two. I didn't have three points of contact. Ball. One, two. Back. Ball. One, two. Ready to go. Switch to the other side. It's important to practice this, guys, just to get the routine. I'm down. Ready? Ball. Three points of contact. Ball. Peek at the rim. Ball. Perfect. Okay. So that's the foundation, guys. Getting a catch in triple threat position. Something you do every single time your hands touch leather is getting that triple threat position. Now, the next move we're going to work on isn't really that much of a move. It's just a shot. It's your first option. When you catch the ball, be a threat to score. If you can catch it and shoot it, guys are going to run at you. If guys are running at you, it's easier to drive by them. So once we do three on each side, actually, I wouldn't even do that. Just do three here and then go straight into a shot. So the points of precision for this, guys, are all the same points that we used in the shooting warm-up. Now you're just going to start. Make sure you get in your range. So I'm going to step in a little bit. But I'm going to get, first of all, I'm going to get ready. I'm going to get my butt down. I'm, when I call for the ball, Taylor will throw it. If I'm by myself, spin it and call for the ball. Ball. That's your three points of contact. Shoot. What you can do is catch it first. Ball. Reset. Now go into your shot. Ball. Do a few over here, same thing on the other side. And as you improve with this, guys, and start working live ball moves, you can do this from any spot on the floor. Find the spots that you like the best and work those spots. Ball. 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 Sit into my catch, triple threat. Ball. And on a make. So there you go, guys. We've got getting a catch, we've got your triple threat position, and we've got catch and shoot. Those are the first foundations of your live ball moves. Get comfortable with it. The next video will come out and we'll show you the sweep and the cross step. Thanks, guys.